Prometheus was a titan. He stole fire from the other gods and gave it to humanity. Zeus, his nephew, was furious that Prometheus had cheated his own family and decided on a fitting punishment. Zeus chained Prometheus to a rock and had an eagle eat his liver out every day for eternity. And that got me thinking, if that's how the gods punish other gods for cheating their family, imagine what the punishment will be for a human who cheats their family. You see, people's comments on the last video I made made me realize that the auto texture I built to trick my family was just evil. I should be making the world a more positive place, not a negative one. I must repent. So in this episode, I've decided to help humanity by tackling one of the greatest afflictions of our age, the long form company update that anyone with a job is expected to read. You see, words are precious. The Gettysburg Address brought a nation to tears in 272 words. Shakespeare taught us about love in 13 words. But Jeremy from accounting needs 377 words to let you know about the new expense report you might have to start using. The amount of reading you're supposed to do to stay updated in your company is massive. And reading is hard and takes concentration and concentration burns glucose in the brain. Basically every organ in your body functions for one purpose and one purpose only and that is to ultimately produce glucose and carry it with oxygen in a delicious plasma to fuel your brain. The miracle of life that is your body is wasted on Kevin's badly formed over lengthy company wide email. This must stop. I will solve the brain glucose drain. Using machine learning I've created a TLDR solution that automatically summarizes long text into three words and an emoji. Interesting fact, there are some Aboriginal and Amazonian tribes that don't even have words for numbers that go over three. Their language just goes one, two, three, many. They knew what was up. Okay, so let's see it in action. We've got a long update here. All I need to do is type TLDR in a reply. And the TLDR app automatically returns a three term summary and an emoji. The emoji is a sentiment analysis measuring positivity versus negativity of the language. All right, let's try the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, wow, actually that worked really well. Anyways, those British deserved it. And I thought for fun, we'll try it on Facebook's terms of service. Nice. And now we're going to test it on a text from Molly's mom. We are, but they're embarrassing. I was thinking about you on the weekend. Please just send me a sentence or two to put in grandma's card. <laughs> By the way, your cousin got married to that dentist. Have you gone on any dates recently? I worry about you. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Put the text in. TLDR. <laughs> Holy flower. Grandma card. Apple cake. Happy emoji. This app sucks. Very disappointed. What's so cool about this is you can actually use this app in your Monday account right now. You can start TLDRing today. To install the app, you just click on the link in the description below. It will take you to your Monday account and you click on install the app. Small print, you have to be an admin of your account to install. So if you're not, just send one of the admins of your account the link and ask them to install it for you. Once it's installed, you just go to any board that you want to use it on and click on the integrations at the top here and search for TLDR. Select the TLDR app, then click add to board and then click add to board again. And it's done. Start TLDRing on any update. And you have to refresh the page every time because there's a teeny tiny bug. Well, wasn't that swell? I'm going to be building a lot more things that you can actually use. So um, it's highly recommended to subscribe to the channel.